Big news from our very own sun this week. We're hitting the solar maximum of the 11-year cycle and things are heating up in more ways than one. On July 23rd, 2024, the Sun unleashed an X14-class solar flare, one of the most powerful flares ever recorded in this cycle. This flare, originating from an active region on the Sun, blasted a substantial burst of X-rays and extreme ultraviolet radiation. As a result, we experienced shortwave radio blackouts across Southeast Asia, Australia and Japan. These blackouts happen because intense radiation ionizes the upper atmosphere, creating conditions that mess with radio wave propagation. Luckily, this flare didn't produce a coronal mass ejection or CME directed towards Earth. That's a relief because CMEs can cause geomagnetic storms that disrupt power grids and satellite operations. However, NASA and other space weather monitoring agencies are keeping a close watch on the sun's activities, just in case. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, issued an alert on Monday. They warned that a dark plasma pulse from this cold solar flare could lead to power grid fluctuations. Imagine that, the sun's activity potentially affecting our power supply. This flare might also disrupt radios, aviation communication and satellite operations. So stay tuned for any updates. And speaking of updates, 2024 is the year the sun's magnetic poles are set to flip. This happens approximately every 11 years and can lead to more intense solar storms and stunning auroras seen at lower latitudes. The Sun is expected to reach the peak of its current activity cycle this year, a year earlier than anticipated. This solar maximum is characterized by an increased number of sunspots, solar flares, coronal mass ejections and now dark plasma ejections. In February 2023, NASA observed a significant solar event. A large piece of the Sun's filament broke off, slithered to the Sun's northern pole, and got caught in a massive polar vortex. Could these events be creating the perfect storm? The solar maximum, magnetic polar flip, and the release of this loose filament are all coming together. The uniplanetary evolution theory suggests that when the Sun flips its magnetic poles, it could release this filament, potentially creating an infant version of Mercury. We could be witnessing a glimpse into our own planet's birth, a look back billions of years. This theory suggests that Venus is Earth's past and Mars is Earth's future. A barren landscape, a broken moon and a lost electromagnetic field. It's a stark reminder of what could lie ahead. As the Sun's activities continue to unfold, it might wake us up to a new reality and a deeper understanding of space and time. Keep your eyes on the sky, folks. The sun is about to put on a show that could change everything. If you are a passionate explorer of the mysteries in our cosmos and eager to uncover new perspectives, you've come to the right place. We post thought-provoking videos every day, so don't miss out on any of our mind-blowing episodes. Hit that subscribe button now and embark on more awe-inspiring voyages of discovery.